Here's my Bendix Transistorized Shipmate 2 from I believe the early 1960s. Not 100% sure. You can see there's no civil defense marks there. It's a uh, combination broadcast and crystal controlled receiver intended for marine use as the name suggests. Recapping did not eliminate that power on chirp. I am not sure what the deal is with that. If it originally was like that or uh, it's something wrong with it. This is a pretty good receiver though. Unfortunately, the case is kind of rattly. If I press down on it, it doesn't rattle. And the play's fairly loud. Can't leave it playing, though. I do the show tomorrow night with Brady Quinn. So Brady and the robust infrastructure there while also getting the flexible. Yeah. Away from my computer this thing picks up about two dozen stations. It's one of the best uh, receivers I have that doesn't have a tuned RF stage. And the image rejection on this thing is uh, very good. The uh, weather station around here that's on uh, about 16 megahertz generally comes in around uh, 1.6 um, megahertz, you know, an image of it. But not on this set, it's just not there at all. Not sure how they made the image rejection on this thing so good. You can run it on uh, 12 volts DC through this, or an internal battery, which I already have installed. That's a ground connection there. Serial number R60360. It's a model uh, SM2. Shipmate 2. And there's a ground antenna there. This tube here contains the uh, AM antenna. I believe if you want to use the crystal controlled uh, frequencies, you got to hook up an antenna to here, like a wire antenna. Not sure what the limitations are on that. I don't have the uh, original manual or anything. I think that's just a cabinet handle there. Alright, I'm going to take the top cover of this thing off. Just got to remove these four screws. The front of the set is you know, die cast aluminum. And then the top is a uh, folded sheet metal. This thing is very well made. I'm sure it was uh, fairly expensive in its day. There we go. It only came with one crystal installed in these nice ceramic sockets. 2.837 uh, kilohertz. So that's all whoever owned it needed. 
That's a, a 9 volt battery there that I've restuffed. You can see it's got all Philco transistors except for that one in the back there. And I've recapped it. Uh, it would have been fairly annoying to remove this board, and the underside of it is like. Uh, coated with like polyurethane or lacquer or something along those lines so I just didn't want to mess with that I uh, clipped out the original caps and soldered in the replacements some of them were unreadable because they had a uh, plastic coating on them that decayed and ate away the numbering so I just had to use my best um, best gas on those ones I put all 4.7 microfarads in here for these three I was only able to read one of them and then these are uh, 56's to replace 47's originally. That's a 100 there. I like the way they mounted the output stage there with a thermistor. Looks sturdy. There's a red Raytheon diode. Oddly some parts of this set suggest you know mid 60's and other parts suggest earlier. They may have had a part stockpile. Not sure that anything here is actually dated. This is 260. Might be a date code, I don't know. You can see most of these say 260. This is that gold one there. So I don't know. Maybe one of you guys knows when this thing came out. See, it's got a pretty nice speaker in there. I added this electrical tape here and that piece of paper towel there, trying to reduce the rattliness of this case. Same goes for the tape there and there. They didn't really make any efforts towards that. So it was pretty rattly when I got it. It was just annoying me. So I had to fix that. There's a tuning cap down there. It's just a two section cap. And the oscillator coil down there in the input and output transformers. They're way oversized for the power of this set. They'd fit better in a tube radio. Things got e e oh. The things even got a fuse down there. Probably see it. Sorry, I'm getting tired. Quite a few connections to the uh, antenna actually. Not quite sure why there are so many. I see one, two, three, four, five wires? Maybe six? I don't think there's any going in the other side over here. But, in any case, that's kind of unusual. Alright. Thanks for watching.